50 years ago this week, hundreds of millions were transfixed on the Apollo 11 mission to the moon. Back in Houston, a man who helped build our space program was on the edge of his seat, and he got that training in Troy at RPI. John Craig picks up our story from there. These are iconic space photos we've all seen before, but this gallery is dedicated to a man who was at Mission Control. George M. Lowe, who graduated here from RPI. This is his gallery, but it's what he did for NASA and Apollo that makes him iconic. The entire Apollo program began with a team that included George Lowe. He earned his degree in aeronautical engineering in 1948 at Rensselaer, his master's two years later. He would go on to earn the National Science Medal and Presidential Medal of Freedom. Lowe was part of a team that formed NASA and would later advise President Kennedy to say we could and would go to the moon. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. That landing was 50 years ago. Dr. Lowe is out of the space program. On the 10th anniversary, as the president of RPI, WNYT learned from Lowe. This is part of that report. George Lowe was intently concentrating on the valves, switches, and fuel cells. So we were watching the pulse of the whole Apollo system all through the flight, and that was our main concern. And it wasn't until the astronauts had their feet back on the deck of the aircraft carrier after they landed that any of us felt we could relax and think about the, the, the history of the event. This is an image of, of something that was done in the past, which motivates us to do greater things in the future. Kurt Brenneman's the Dean of Science at RPI. 50 years ago, at age 13, he watched the landing live. It, it was just so amazing to think that science and technology had taken us where the only the imagination had gone before. Pretty heady stuff for a 13-year-old, I gotta say. He showed us these coveted pictures he treasures from the original negatives, prized possessions from a pivotal moment for him and the nation. And one of my favorite ones is this one right here, which is the first science done on the moon. He learned as a student at RPI how to learn how to learn, how to solve problems that hadn't been posed. And in fact, that's probably the basis for his being successful in this area. Lowe died in 1984 at the age of 58 from cancer. Who knows what more he could have brought to this RPI campus in the later years. In Troy, John Craig, News Channel 13.